the game probably originates in France. There's a game there called Jeu de Grenouille, which is the game of the frog, which has, is very similar to our game, but has more holes on the top. So you, and you score different points, a bit like bar billiards, you score different points depending on what hole the, the toad goes in. Um, so ours is probably a simple version of that. We know that it's been played in Sussex for a couple of hundred years. Some of the tables are very, very old. It seems really simple. You have a little uh, brass toad coin and you throw it in a hole, but it's much more complex than that. You've got dig backs, you've got flip overs, you've got overthrows. <laughs> the, it's hugely complex, but it's something that we're, we're all trying to master. Well, it's quite tricky. You have to make sure that the brass disc the toad flies flat through the air, doesn't wobble. So that's quite, it's all about the, the way you release the toad out of your hand. A lot like darts. More skillful than golf, obviously. Yeah, yeah, and football. <laughs> it's minutes to learn and, and years to master. I mean, it's, it's it, the same people win over and over again. It's quite easy to, to score, you know, a certain number of points, but to get them all in the hole regularly is, uh, is a difficult thing to do. Is it a skilled game? I, I, in, in all honesty, I would say it's more skilled than football and golf and tennis. We've only been playing four years and we used to be a bit, a bit over the top in, if I was honest and we would play every day. Um, I've got five of my own tables and two at work as well. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Oh, That's alright. This is getting to be a bit of a habit. Oh, it's getting I know. This stuff. is getting too familiar. <laughs>